Growing maize successfully involves a number of things, but one of the most important things that needs to be done is to feed it in the right thing at the right time. We normally apply two types of fertilizers to our maize. The first one is right at the very beginning during what is called the establishment phase to give it a good start. And the second one is applied when the crop is in its vegetative state and to help it during its reproductive stage so that it can produce beautiful cobs like this. Stay with us. Greetings from the farm. I hope you're well. It's so good to have you back with us again here on the Mondo Farms channel. My name is Chisha Folotia and I'm standing in a beautiful field of hybrid maize that we've been growing here on Florida 3. This is gonna be a very quick video. And as it said in the title, we are looking at how to fertilize the crops. So let's start at the very beginning when our team was applying what is common only termed basal fertilizer. Uh, so we're down here at uh, Chicago One, where we planted our 2024-2025 maize. And uh, we're looking at the progress of the maize after planting on the 19th of uh, December 2024. This is the growth so far. Um, and yeah, we're seeing good growth. So we have our team applying our fertilizer, our first application of basal fertilizer. And uh, this is the fertilizer being applied. So the methodology is we have another team that's coming in and digging the holes. And the other team which is over there coming in and dropping the fertilizer into the holes. The whole essence is preventing the fertilizer from getting washed away from surface runoff. And also, uh, when you leave it out in the open, you avoid it oxidizing, which will be very less effective when it comes to working and providing essential nutrients to the, to the crop. We're going to look at the components in our fertilizer that we're applying, which is the compound Maxigreen. We've got um, three macronutrients, which is the NPK. And we've got also three micronutrients, which is the sulfur, zinc, and the boron. So at this stage, our plants need more than the three macronutrients. Uh, we can see the yellow wing, which shows mostly nitrogen deficiency, and it has got high nitrogen content, and it will help the plant regain its vigor and the, the green color so that photosynthesis can be very effective and can take place. Then underneath here, we are seeing the purple, which is a phosphorus deficiency, which the phosphorus in the fertilizer that we've applied will get to work on the phosphorus deficiency, help more root development. Then on the tips here, we are seeing some sulfur deficiency, which the sulfur is there and it will really help uh, the plant to overcome that. So we're going to look at the guys now dropping the seed, or the, the grains of uh, fertilizer in the drilled holes. So they're putting the fertilizer into these mini bags that are easily portable, and they have a bottle top that they're using to measure 10 grams of fertilizer being applied to every plant per station. So this is a very efficient way of serving fertilizer and like hand dropping, which um, has its disadvantages of an even application. So this one ensures that you've got even application and the growth becomes all uniform because you've provided the same exact amount of nutrients to each plant. We continue making good progress on the application of our 
fertilizer. That's the base of fertilizer. We've moved all the way from uh, Chicago 1 and 2 to Florida 2 AB, and now we are on uh, C. So, here we can see the guys, the ones with the sticks, were going in with the same sticks that they have in their hands, drilling holes. Then uh, the other team is following in the back uh, with the bags of fertilizer, dropping the fertilizer grains into the drilled holes. After the team is done uh, drilling the holes, they come back in with the same sticks. Then they start buying the drilled hose that has the fertilizer inside. Oi, what means I can now? Put him on online. That has got the fertilizer. So they're going back, burying them so that we don't get to lose the fertilizer. So we can see. If you, Jack, I'm not feeling good. So, as you can see, it's all teamwork, uh, multitasking. They do the drilling of the holes, they're applying the fertilizer, and they come back to uh, bury the holes that they drill that contains the fertilizer. Then we protect our fertilizer and make sure that it's used effectively. And once the crop is established and things are looking well, we then come in to apply what is commonly referred to as top dressing. Now, top dressing fertilizers come in many different varieties, brands, and combinations of chemical elements. But what we're trying to achieve at this stage is to help the plants continue their vegetative growth. So we always need a little bit of nitrogen and then also get to the stage of starting the reproduction. Remember, when we are growing maize, we are not growing it for it to look tall and beautiful and all of that if we tifunama cobs that's all we want from it so at that stage we come in and apply the top dressing So we're here at uh, Florida 2C, where we continue with our fertilizer application program. So we started all the way from Chicago, one, two, Florida A, B, then now we're on C, um, Florida 2, B, C, and uh, we continue applying our fertilizers. So just sharing with the team, now when to apply or where to apply. So guys, you say fuck. You look first, you also say fuck, yeah? And let's monk on a man's up a man's movie in your fault. She's a stick and try next. Is on on the medicine. Yeah, so you are for say fuck. Come, Elaine, my line your pain there. So yes, when it comes to moshe, what's I fuck? He at least mungai fuck eh. He tell you the moshe, he so. Now he only cap eh. 
So we are selecting on where to apply so as to avoid uh, losses and also further damage on the crop. So we don't want to have uh, fertilizer losses as well as uh, uh, scorching the crop even further with low moisture. Bash monoka. Pano pakati pano. Stiffa kapa eh? The area you want to say. What's that for kapo? Muzi wa wai? Pakai the minute mona wala pano ofo chapo. So tika ita petai gena onundi. Inga shokerebo. Tika pano majani kulika. Manzi kaloka ngul. Aha. Kaloka manza kange na pano. Tika pano yisi nga yisi kutu. Aha. Kutu tika ika kutu chapa pa kutu chapa. Tika onundi na. Do you know fertilizer put in a mbeo? Mbeo, yeah. Uh-huh. So, pano pakato sa pakapo. At least, tiko ilangi za koma signs, eh? Ika loka even better. Eh-heh. Kuvesi kapena tu kameda kaza sarapo, ka 5kg tinga bufa kapano. Eh, but uh, for now, let's not put anything, eh? Okay. Eh, so I change fakeche kuri ikuru yeka yeka, eh? Eh. So the maize has grown in height and uh, making it hard for the guys to um, walk in between the lines to apply the fertilizers. So with the height, they are going uh, by bending all the way through. So there you have it, a very quick look at how our team applied the two types of fertilizer to our maize crops this year in the 2024 to 2025 season. Things are looking well. We have been blessed with enough heavenly blessings in the form of precipitation. And our crop is now doing what's called cob filling. And that is what we really, really need. After last year's disastrous thing during the whole El Nino, the drought, then our winter maize thing that didn't really, 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 really work out as well as we had hoped. A story for another day. We are due for some good fortune uh, with this crop that will be able to look after ourselves and our workers during this season. The Mondo Farms channel is a place where you find videos like this. Videos about farming here in South Central Africa. We are located in just outside um, Chongwe, which is a town on the to the east of Lusaka, the capital city of Zambia. And we like to do videos that apply to farmers that find themselves in a developmental agenda like, like we are. If you want to keep watching these videos, then press the subscribe button. And if you press the bell icon, then YouTube will let you know when another video comes along. If this is a video that you need, perhaps your farm workers or other people that you're involved with in the project to see, other people that maybe you are on a WhatsApp group or something, then press the share button and then be able to share it with them on your socials. The like button is down there for you to give us your stamp of approval and show the YouTube algorithm that this is a video that people appreciate. And if you have any contributions of perhaps your own experiences with fertilization of maize, then please put them in the comments below. I'll see you soon on the Mondo Farms channel. This is Shisha Folotia signing out. Um, bye. <laughs> Take care.